So guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be discussing the MLS All-Stars, which if you didn't already, is essentially an extra team season that we get towards the end of FIFA. Now if you didn't already, the MLS All-Stars are picked in, let's say, a weird and interesting way. We've got um, 10 players who get voted in by fans on the MLS website. One player is voted in by people playing FIFA, that's right, the video game. And then the rest of the 24-man squad is picked by the head coach. Now, I was actually planning to do this kind of video for the weekend, like this coming weekend, about just the Fan 11, which has been known for a while. But yesterday, the full All-Star squad was announced. So today, we are going to look at the potential Team of the Season cards that we could be getting um, in a few weeks' time. For those who don't know, the MLS Team of the Season players normally come out around the same time as the All-Star match. This year, the game is set to be played on the 2nd of August, so you've got about two or three weeks to get your MLS teams ready. So before we kick on the play, just a quick disclaimer, as always, I've pretty much just boosted everyone's stats from their previous card by about 5 or 6, so uh, yeah, just to give us a general idea of what their team this season card could look like, so don't look too much into the stats, because um, like I said, they're all just plus 5s and plus 6s, but let's have a look at some of them, because some of these cards look like they could be potentially very freaking good. We'll start off with Tim Howard, formerly of Everton, of course. This card actually looks very freaking good. Howard's normal card in FIFA for me is absolutely rubbish, so hopefully this Team of the Season card is much better. Graham Zussi is up next. Now, this one's interesting because he's actually an attacking player. Well, originally is. He normally plays like left wing or cam, but um, as of this season, he's been playing right back for Sporting. So, yeah, could be a right back card for Zussi. Next to him is Greg Gaza, one of the first Atlanta United players featuring in this team. Decent little left back option, not the best pace, so probably won't be the top of everyone's lists. One guy that might be on the top of people's list is Demarcus Beasley because he's going to be pretty damn pacey. Should have around 90 pace and decent defensive stats, not a bad MLS left back option. Michael Bradley is the first gold player we're going to see today and this card could be freaking insane. Now he's not in form, doesn't look that good, but he's in form, I don't know if you've seen the in form, I'll put it on the screen right now. The stats on it are freaking brilliant. So this team of the season card, it could be ridiculous, it really really could, a very well rounded card and it seriously could be one of the better midfielders that you can get in the game and he won't be expensive either. Next up is this man, Bayern Munich legend Bastian Schweinsteiger who probably will have the best of pace, but um, every other stat is going to be very freaking good. And uh, yeah, it's just nice to see a team this season Schweinsteiger again, even if the pace isn't that good. Still looks like a pretty damn good card to me. So we move from one player who's not so quick to one who is very freaking quick. You might have seen his inform recently, Almiron featured in the team of the week not too long ago. Yeah, pretty pacey for a mid. I'm looking at this card and I'm thinking, Cam to centre forward, centre forward to striker. And, you know, see where it goes. See how it goes. So, uh, yeah, Almiron looking like a very good team of the season card. As you can imagine, Kaka will also feature in the MLS team of the season. Very nice card for him, as usual. Doesn't have the best of stamina, which might affect him in-game. But um, still, decent card, it looks to me. Sebastian Giovinco is up next now. I know the overall rating doesn't look too great. I wasn't sure what to do with it because, of obviously... He's got a few informs and an SBC, and I don't know how highly EA will boost these MLS cards, so uh, I just went with an 89, but still, this Giovinco team season will be very freaking good. I actually really like his SBC card, I just don't use it too much because I don't use Italian or MLS teams, but uh, this team season could be very freaking good. Next up is David Villa, and once again, he had a foot birthday card, so I don't know how much EA will boost it further than that. But uh, yeah, this card could be very freaking lethal in front of girls. So I don't know how expensive this would be actually because the foot birthday card when it first came out was pretty pricey. So uh, I wonder what price team of the season David Villa will be. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. The final player in the starting 11 is Nikolic who's had um, a few informs lately. His recent inform has 89 shooting on it so I'm expecting very good shooting on his team of the season card. So that is the Fan 11, let's get on to the rest of the MS All-Star squad. We'll start off with another goalkeeper, Stefan Fry, who actually had a Man of the Match card. No, he got Hero card previously in this year's Ultimate Team. I actually had that card up until recently, and then I sold it when I found out he was going to get a blue card. But um, yeah, should be a decent silver card for him. Next up is one of the cards that I'm actually more excited about. Now, I know what you're thinking, Kieran's a centre-back, why would you really care? Because this card looks very freaking good, that's why I care, and it will be cheap. It's going to have good pace, good defending, and insane physical stats. 
So uh, yeah, look out for this centre-back card for Van Damme. Michael Parkhurst is in the MS All-Stars. Again, doesn't look too bad for a silver in my opinion. One silver card that does actually look very good is this man, Johan Kapelhoff, who, uh, yeah, pace, defending, physical, dribbling. Look at dribbling for silver. This card could be very freaking good. And obviously, if you don't want to go MLS, you can hybrid it with some players from the Netherlands. Matt Hedges from FC Dallas will feature as well. This guy is very freaking tall in game. Going to have some great physical stats. And once again, looks very solid for a silver. It's time for a gold play now. And one of the best players in the MLS is Diego Valeri. So it's no surprise that he features here. And it should be a very good cam card for him. Good passing, good shooting and dribbling. Just like last season's team of the season card. Another Argentine now, Piatti, who's played cam, striker and left wing for Montreal this year. I think it'll be a left wing card for him, might be wrong, but uh, I believe he's played a lot of games on the left edge. Looks like a solid card. Looks like it'll be better as a left forward than it would be a left mid, but nevertheless, decent card for him. Dax McCarty is up next. Now, he's actually one of my favourite MLS players. If you didn't know, Red Bulls are my MLS team, and I was absolutely gutted when um, it was announced that McCarty was leaving Red Bulls because he's such a pivotal player. He plays that centre mid DM role really well, and Red Bulls are missing him right now, and Chicago are a better team because he's there. And it looks like he's going to get a very nice silver card as well. So, um, yeah, Red Bulls still miss you, Dax. Um, you should come back. Next up is one of the better-looking cards from this MLS All-Stars side, and that is Giovanni Dos Santos, who should have an insane team season card. Pace, dribbling, shooting, passing should all be in abundance on this card, and it should be very freaking nice. We've gone from one pacey player to another in Kelly Acosta, who is going to be a very pacey midfielder. Not the tallest, but still, in midfield, Kante is not the tallest, and he's a freaking beast. So pace, good defending for a silver, and very good physical. This could be a pretty good mid card. Dom Dwyer gets himself another MLS All-Stars card. Looks pretty good, to be honest. Good pace, good shooting, and decent physical. I probably will end up trying it, but who knows? Maybe if I pack it, I'll give it a go. We'll have to wait and see. And the final player is Jersey Altidore, who, um, yeah, I don't really have too much to say about this card. It's going to be pretty physical, decent shooting, but uh, I don't think it'll be that great in FIFA. I might be wrong, they might boost it a bit more, but um, we'll have to wait and see, obviously. So there is the 23 players we could potentially be seeing in a few weeks as team of the season versions of themselves. However, Kieran, it's a 24-man squad. Where's the 24th guy? Well, the person I left out and didn't make a card for was this guy, Hernan Grana. I left him out as just simply he's not in Ultimate Team, so uh, yeah. Anyway guys, we're coming to the end of the video now. If you could leave a like on it, that would be freaking awesome. Leave a comment, let me know your thoughts on these players and if you're looking forward to the All-Stars. And that's pretty much it, so thanks for watching and as always I will catch you in the next one.